NASCAR brings the battle to Richmond International Raceway here in Richmond, Virginia for the running of the Toyota Owners 400. Hey there guys, Mikey here and the NASCAR 15 Let's Play continues on the fourth short track race of the schedule. A far departure from the tight banks of Bristol, Richmond is fast, wide, with multiple racing grooves where the drivers can easily go two and three wide, which always proves for some exciting racing. It's the perfect combination of super speedway and short track racing, and it all happens under the lights as we return to NASCAR in prime time here on McBlam Racing. Yes, sir. Flagman's got that green flag in his hands. Look at the field over the green flag yeah, to the air. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing for it, man. Coming off turn four to complete lap four. Already out to a dominating lead here at Richmond. Denny Hamlin almost 2.5 seconds back in second. Casey Kane runs third, Clint Boyer runs fourth. Go down into turns three and four. Coming around for lap to complete lap five. Not as, not as surprising I'm out front fairly early on here at Richmond. We did the same thing in the fall race last season. As I immediately contradict myself by slamming into the wall, but we have a very, very loose car. And I know loose is fast, Doing great. edge of out of control. Second place is way back. Yeah, he is. Yeah, loose is fast, edge of, you know, edge of control and all that, but I don't want to spin this car out so I'm probably going to start backing off a little bit more you know and, and I don't want to wear the tires out too soon so I'm probably going to start backing off a little bit more which means unfortunately they will probably start catching me soon yes yeah, not sure what happened there the car did not want to respond but then again, turns one and two are kind of our toughest turn. Kurt Busch worked his way up into the top four now. He's running fourth. Yeah, see, we're starting to lay off a little bit more now. Which, like I said, which means they're going to start catching up, but I'd rather have a car last to the end, you know, last through this run, than to have... Keep digging, buddy. It's not over yet. A big lead. Tend to have a big lead and have a car that's just completely undrivable. Because like I said, this car is very loose. You see the back end steps out on us a lot. And we do have speed, oh, but... Right side. I don't think it's worth all of that. So, so get around David Gilliland. Put him a lap down. 50 to go. 5-0. You can do this. 50 laps to go. Gonna try to get the run on a high side, and whoop, well, <laughs> high side's clear. I was on the gas. Casey Mears apparently was not, as he now goes a lap down. Now this lap traffic will help put a gap between myself and the second place spot. They're gonna, they're gonna hang them up just a little bit, and I'll be able to use them. 
as defense. Like I said, I just want to kind of take it easy around this track now, as I feel like everyone else is kind of doing too. Okay, let's use that clean air. Keep digging. Boyer's made his way back up into the top four, which means Kurt Busch, or Kyle Busch, whoever that Stay was, is now back to top five They're as Ty Dillon goes a lap down. We've lost the fastest lap of the race so far, but that doesn't mean that's going to stay that way. Come around a complete lap for 13. Down in turns one and two. You see the car is wanting to step out quite a bit on us. So you hear we're not full throttle all the way, not until like we're all the way on the back stretch. So is this one of those things that kind of, I do want to get on the apron there. It's just one of the things I'm going to have to just really be careful. Like I said, they're going to catch us, but that's okay. Like I said, rather have the car not use up all my stuff. I'd rather not use up all my stuff and have a car that'll make it to the end, you know, make it through a run, than to be, you know, three, four seconds out front and just be Whatever wrecking you're loose doing, off you every doing. turn. We're coming up on Jet Burton. 37th place car. Ooh boy, yeah. Gotta kind of fight this car now. So we're gonna go high. And we, yeah, we actually complete the pass on the high side. We get really loose, but we managed to catch it. Top four have not changed suit as of yet. That was really, really not a good turn for us lost some time as a result of that. It's okay, we're trying to catch up to what looks like Eric Almarola. Yes, it is. Okay, trying to get around Eric Almarola. Outside. Getting around this lap traffic, trying to right be careful, clear. trying to be patient. Watch your rear. This is one thing I learned in Bristol is that... You're clear. We having fun out there? Yeah, we're trying. There's one thing I did learn at Bristol. I wanted to be a little more patient getting around this lap traffic. We're now catching up to JJ Yaley. And we're still stepping out a little bit. We're on the outside. Hamlin is settled in about one point. Seven, 1.8 seconds back. We have a decent lead as we see that looks like pit stops have already started to occur. Pit strategy Where already in go? effect. David Gilliland came down pit road early. About to put himself a, another lap down. Is that trying to be patient here. I see that Looks like Hamlin and the others are trying to get around lap traffic as well. Took out the commitment cone there. But. No one's going to touch you out here today. Yeah, but you can hear we're not on the throttle. Like we're having to back out quite a bit, just because I don't want to start. I don't want to wreck anyone. Okay, here we go. Big run, big run. Car high. Yeah, I don't want to wreck anyone. Clear high don't want to get involved in a wreck just want to kind of take it easy yeah, you can Car see Hamlin the pit. Hamlin has definitely gotten Go hung low. up by the lap traffic and the pit road traffic it's too fast man check up check up we're not pitting we're not pitting got down on the apron by accident there Jimmy Johnson has now worked his way up into top four Jimmy Johnson started outside lane he started second, so he's working his way back up through the pack. It's, it's like either Kurt Busch or Kyle Busch Go down low. is now running third. Clear I think high. that's Kyle Busch. Trying to work our way around Josh Wise. Stay low. Austin Dillon is, do this Ty Dillon has now gone an, another lap right down. Clear. I said pit strategy is in effect. They're trying to get their pit stops early and... I respect that, but I would rather have the fresher tires towards the end of the race. 
You know, fuel's one thing, but the fresh tires are definitely going to be a factor at this track. So we catch up to Jeb Burton one more time. Another driver who has already come down pit road. This Hamlet has now closed the gap to less than two seconds. Car up top. Clear up top. Car one back. Clear now. Yes, they are. Here comes JJ. Here we come up on JJ Yaley. Going to try to go to his outside. Car inside. Don't think I'll be able to get the momentum on him. I kind of do get into him a little Clear bit, but it's okay. Careful, careful. We having fun out there? This is actually pretty... It's pretty fair. It's pretty fair, as I, I would say. I wouldn't say I'm having fun. So the most fun I've had in this game so far has been at Texas. Where the AI was just extremely competitive. Oh, boy. Looking in my rear view, looks like Kyle Busch has moved up to the second spot. Jimmy Johnson is now in third. Casey Kane has dropped back to fourth. So that's trying to be patient, trying to keep not to use up my stuff. I don't want to go racing too hard. Catching up on Michael McDowell and David Reagan. Ooh, boy. Inside of McDowell. It's too fast, man. Check out. Check out. Couldn't, couldn't quite get They're inside of high. Reagan, but we do get the runoff of four. Halfway home, buddy. No one's going to touch you out here today. Halfway through this race. They're on the outside. Car when do low. pit stops happen? Car in front's heading Ooh, to the boy. pit. Ooh, boy. A little loose. It's Carl Edwards up ahead. Paul Menard coming down pit road. You know, it looks like Carl Edwards definitely and Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott has already come down pit road. He's about to go another lap down. If I can catch him. Got to get on the brakes a little bit hard there. Front four have not changed suit as of yet. Closing on the bottom. Oh, Casey Kane moved up. Looks like Casey Kane moved up a bunch of spots and then dropped back. We try to get There's inside our Camarola. Right Ooh, don't want to get into the back of Edwards, so we lay off a little bit. One outside. Clear right. Ooh, boy. Okay, let's We're really clear. fighting Keep this digging. car now. Danica Patrick. Kind of odd that she's back here. Given that she ran really, really well in practice. Okay, backing out of this. Mabani was really loose coming off a pit off the uh, apron there. So I'm gonna back out of this. Try to get inside of Edwards. You're good low. Mabani's gonna have those fresh tires though, so I gotta watch out for him. Side. And turns three and Let's four. Get plenty of fuel in there. Ooh, boy. Let's take four tires, guys. What four in tires. the world? Okay. Push harder. We're getting caught by the driver behind. Inside. Okay, that was really, Peter really Elliott. weird. <laughs> the High game side. just kind of glitched out there for a second. Edwards literally drove Got through me. Well, you're high. But you'll notice top. something. The pack Let's has back, caught man. us. Check out, check out. The pack has caught us. Jimmy Johnson. Keep digging, buddy. It's not over He's yet. back there on that top lane behind Eric Almarola. Car outside. At your door. As we're fighting to keep these Clear guys top. behind us. Oh, boy. Wow. Four wide. We almost wrecked. Inside. Almost wrecked off of two that time. Three wide. Two inside. All right, backing out of it, backing out of it, backing out of it. Come on. The leader's a second ahead. Okay. Yeah, this car's handling has really, really gotten bad. Yeah, we are about to spin out almost Clear every low. turn. Okay, watch out, watch out. Oh boy. Back. Got in the back of Kurt Busch, did not mean to do that. There's that glitch again, Danica Three Patrick. Wide, two driving through our bumper, literally. 
Are approaching high. Far outside you. Okay, Matt Kenseth behind us. We've dropped back to 11th. But we are Looking mired outside. in all Doing of this great, traffic. Man. The driver in first is two seconds ahead. Try Far not to get into Kurt Busch again. Worked our way back up into the top Lights 10. Clear, bud. Far up high. Okay, watch it, watch it. Uh, Far outside you. Yeah, I just can't. I can't drive it as hard clear. as I used to. And this is what I was talking about. You don't want to use your stuff up early on in the race. Are approaching your rear. One outside. Oh boy. Go to the low side. Trying to catch up to Dale Earnhardt Jr. Here are tires. Here are those brakes Looking squealing. Inside. These tires squealing okay, as we're really loose you. off two, but we save You're it. All clear. Oh boy, watch it, Junior. Watch it, Junior. He's charging. He's right on you. In the back of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Did not mean to do that. Sorry, Junior Nation. Man clear. We worked our way up into eighth. I don't think we have much for them, but again, when do pit stops happen? Boy, wow. We are fighting this car so much right now. Yeah, the car handling has really, really just okay, get yeah, inside nice of nice Clint Boyer, but we can't do anything. We just can't. Okay. We, all right, we do get a run. All right, we're going to make it three wide. This is three probably wide, a bad idea. You're in the middle. Probably a bad idea. Oh, side. Kurt Busch Green with a little payback. Caution is out. Caution is out. Kurt Busch with payback for knocking him sideways earlier on in the race. Or a few, earlier on in the race, a few laps ago, actually. So, Play yeah. that truck, are you clear? You want to come Not in? surprised that happened. Uh, we are going to go ahead and pit. I would imagine everyone else is going to pit. So, yep. Looks like everyone is pitting right now. You need some fuel. I think we should change yes, those tires four out. Tires. Um, All right, let's do let's this. go ahead and, and raise the wedge a little and we'll lower the track bar so keep the grill tape where it is, make sure we're taking a full tank of fuel. And hope for a good pit stop. Let's go to work, boys. Here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully be, to be in and out relatively quickly. Don't want to lose too many spots. They get their right side on. You see our paint scheme. The black, black Chaos Crew paint scheme sponsored by Tiger Moy Energy as we're out in the way. And we have Martin Truex Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Gordon, Hamlin, Bush, Bush, Boyer, Kenseth, Earnhardt Jr., and Kevin Harvick are your top 10. We will restart 13th, so we've lost three spots on that round of pit stops. But we should be able to get that back relatively quick as the awesome game glitches job, out slightly. Great teamwork. We're okay. Okay, it's time to push that pace now, buddy. Stay focused. We can do this. All right. Go. The name of the game is to get back up there and get racing. Get, get ourselves another win as the green flag gets back in the air. Everyone spinning okay, tires. Good, the inside line is held up by Kyle, I'm oh, no. Jeff Gordon. We got a bad restart. Well, this is not what I intended. One oh, inside. gosh. Three wide. Three wide. You're in the middle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Right, okay. Save it, Kane. Save it, Kane. Save it, Kane. The leader's a second ahead. Gosh, we are all Four over the place. Wide. Everyone is all Three over wide. the place. That didn't work out how I planned it. Because we are three wide. This track's wide enough for it, but we're losing spots on this outside lane. We get a chance to work our way back to the inside. Inside Far of Greg outside. Biffle. Three wide, two outside. There goes the commitment code. Here comes Joey Logano pushing his way Far through the middle. We drop back to 14th. We're battling side by side with Greg Biffle. Far Greg Biffle with the road outside. Trying to catch up, because we are trying to catch up to Jeff Gordon. Casey Kane's off the pace. That's it, dude. Every Three wide down the back straight away. Oh, contact with One Greg outside. Biffle and Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson slowed up way 
a whole lot in turns three and four. We're trying to work our way inside of Dale Earnhardt Jr. We've gotten back into the top ten. Here comes Jr. Carl Edwards has come down pit road for some reason as we get into the wall. We're okay. We maintain speed. Breaking really hard going into turns three and four, trying to catch up to Matt Kenseth. Inside of Kenseth. Looking inside of Ryan Newman, not going to get there in time. Look at Kenseth with the run on the outside. He's trying to get there. Here comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr. gets to the inside. Oh, Newman's loose. One up top. Oh boy, oh boy. Check up, check up. Big bump to Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush gets into Kurt Bush. As we are now inside of Clint Boyer for third. Insane restart, but we managed to recover so so well because right everyone was just all over the place including ourselves as we overdrive turns three and four it comes clip border to our inside can we maintain the speed on the outside trying to get the draft off of mark shuex jr we do get it watch your rear here comes ryan newman on the outside ryan newman clint boyer battling for the top five spot or sorry the top four He's spot on the inside Trying to get the run side. on the high side with the crossover move inside of Truex. Can I get there? And Three back, coming high. Not quite, not quite. Watch Truex here, closes the door again. Here comes Ryan Newman to our inside. Ryan Newman looks high. We're going to come up to cover. Martin Truex Jr. trying to shut the door on us. Watch your oh rear. boy, we're starting to get a little loose. Eight to go. If we can just break by us a little bit, get us a little more. Watch your inside. We overdrove Far turns one here. and two. Here comes Ryan Newman. We managed to get the speed. Here we come inside to the inside player. of Martin Truex Jr. Looking really good right here. Diving it inside All of Denny right. Hamlin. Clean air here, buddy. Let's get into a rhythm. And we have taken the lead again. Seven to go. With seven laps to Clear go. The dive bomb move inside of Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex Jr. has acquired us the lead again as we are about to spin out off of two. But right now, it doesn't matter. Saving the car does not matter. We are going to just try to Six get to go. out as far away from this pack as we can and maintain this lead. Jimmy Johnson is now in second. Ryan Newman and Kurt Busch battling for third as we're catching up to Michael Waltrip. Michael Waltrip about to go another lap down. Five to go. Five laps nice to go smooth. here in Richmond. The Toyota Owners, 400. And we get our second win, our third win of the season. No the top. Clear up high. Got a car behind. Trying. Clear, clear. Trying to be smooth, trying not to spin this car out. To go. We are driving it really hard off the turns, and we shouldn't be, but hey, <laughs> it's time to go. Four laps to go as we go down the back straightaway. Michael Waltrip holds the pack up. That gives us a little bit of breathing room. Three to go. Three laps to go. Breaking hard down into turn one. Driving it really hard off of turns two. Jimmy Johnson still running second over 1.7 seconds back as we come nice to two steady. laps to Stay go. Way back. Ryan Newman and Kurt Busch rounding out the top four. We go down into turns three and four. As we're coming to the line, it'll be one more lap to go. You got it. Boy, breaking really hard into turns one and two. Down the back straightaway for the final time. And our patience will be rewarded as we're coming off turn four to go yeah, to victory baby. lane for the third time about. in the NASCAR 15 Let's Play season. You're just the man, I'm telling you. You're ha, yes! That's what I'm talking about. Soak it up, man. Great job today. Woo!
They're loving you for that some one, man. Real burnouts here. Have not done these in quite some time. Our last victory. Woo! Oh, get that slow burnout <laughs> going. Go. Get the slow burnout going. Uh. Mm. There we go. Let's go the other way. There we go the other <laughs> way. The uh. Look at all that smoke. Look at all that smoke. Uh. Oh, man. <laughs> we got the steam coming out of the car now. Oh, man. That felt good. You know what? I think we should take it through the grass. I think we should take it through the grass. Heck yeah. We got the black Dale Earnhardt paint scheme. Let's let's put it through the grass. Let's put it right on through this grass. Here we go. Ah! Soak it up, man. Woo! Great job today. Here we go. Put it through the grass. Get the good out of it. All right. Oh, man. Woo, that felt good. That felt really, really good. Things got crazy on that last restart, but we managed to come out on top. Oh, man. Let's bring her to victory lane. I haven't been here since California Speedway. A great win for Team Chaos. Sponsored by Tiger Moore Energy. We are the winners here at the Toyota Orders 400. Victory Lane. Oh, man, that felt good. Man, that felt good. <laughs> Let's go ahead and view the race results. We are the winners here at Richmond International Raceway. Also logging the fastest lap and the most laps led in a just dominating first half second half had to work for that so um i said i feel really really good about that um let's see jimmy Johnson's is going to come in second ryan newman's in third kyle bush in fourth martin Truex jr fifth uh six is tony stewart seventh dale Earnhardt jr eighth is denny hamlin ninth is clint boyer and rounding out the top 10 is matt kenseth Joy Logano in 11th, 12th Kurt Busch, 13th AJ Allmendinger, 14th Greg Biffle, 15th Casey Kane, 16th Jeff Gordon, 17th Brad Keselowski, 18th Kevin Harvick, 19th Ryan Blaney, and rounding out the top 20 is Michael, uh, sorry, Brian Vickers, Michael Walter Racing. <laughs> Ricky Stenhouse Jr., 21st, 22nd Jamie McMurray, 23rd Regan Smith, 24th Paul Menard, 25th Eric Almarola, 26th Cole Witt, 27th Trevor Bain, 28th. 8th, Ty Dillon, 29th, Michael Walchup, and rounding out the top 30 is Carl Edwards. Austin Dillon, 31st, 32nd, Casey, Carl Larson, Casey Mears, 33rd, David Reagan, 34th, Bob Labonte, 35th, Yannick Patrick, 36th, 37th, uh, Jeb Burton, 38th, J.J. Yaley, 39th, Michael McDowell, and rounding out the top 40 is Michael Annette. David Gilliland, 41st, 42nd, Chase Elliott, rounding, and 43rd in last place is Josh Wise. Two laps down. Let's see how many cars actually finished on this lead lap. And it looks like... Well, cars one lap down. Uh, oh, okay. So 21 cars finished on the lead lap. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. was the last car in the lead lap. So, yeah. Pretty good turnout, if I might say so myself. So here are the point standings. Uh, we are still out in front. Pretty dominating over the rest of the field. Three wins, seven poles, seven top tens. Kurt Busch is in second of Stuart Haas Racing. Uh, Tony Stewart in third, again, Stuart Haas. Teammate Jeff Gordon, Hendrick Motorsports in fourth. Fifth, Daniel Earnhardt Jr., Hendrick Motorsports teammate with one win. Jimmy Johnson in sixth, in Hendrick Motorsports teammate again. <laughs> uh, Martin Truex Jr., of Furniture Row Racing, runs seventh with one win. AJ Allmendinger of J JTG, JTG Doherty Racing. Uh, uh, Carl Edwards of Joe Gibbs Racing. Danny Hamlin, Joe Gibbs' teammate, runs tenth. Eleventh uh, is Greg Biffle, Roush Fenway Racing. Two wins for him. Uh, Kyle Busch with one win. And 12th, uh, 13th is Brad Keselowski, Team Penske. 14th is Stuart House Racing, Kevin Harvick. 
Um, 15th is Matt Kenseth of Joe Gibbs Racing and rounding out the top 16 of the challengers is Jamie McMurray of Chip Ganassi Racing with one win. So, wow, <laughs> finally a win after coming close quite a few times and dominating races quite a few times. I felt like I was having a Jimmy Johnson episode <laughs> here for a, for a while, just where I would absolutely dominate a race for a while but not get the win it was always somebody else so uh yeah it felt good it felt really good to get a win here at richmond i was worried it would come a little bit too easy but once the car handling started to go away like i said this is why i introduced pit stops and uh increased the tire wear fuel use and stuff so that makes it a little more challenging you know i'm not just going off of like a quick run it's not just a quick quick race anymore it's now like you have to strategize a little bit and once i've introduced that it's made the races quite a bit more difficult and it's introduced some other you know challenges because you know you could pit caution comes out well then what are you going to do hope you're not trapped a lap down that's really all you can do um but yeah i felt I feel really, really good about this. Um, oh man, it's just—it's been a while, and I like. It feels so much better to get a win now with the challenge than it was in the season before. Because even though I'm pretty good here at Richmond, you know, I did fight a loose car. It was fast, super, super fast, but it was very, very loose. Um, so that's something I'm going to try to address in the fall race. Um, if I remember to do that, obviously I didn't remember to do that, uh, from fall to, you know, spring now. So, but hopefully remember to do that in the next race. Uh, good showing for team chaos and the tiger more and energy. Uh, man, it just, it feels good. It just, I can't express to you that it just really, really feels good. Um, commenting on the racing again, uh, from what I saw, um, from what I've seen, it looks like it was pretty single file, double file. We did have a crazy, crazy restart, but everyone was crazy. I was crazy as well. I completely misjudged turn one and overdrove it. Almost caused a wreck, but I did not, thank goodness. And I feel like everyone did really good. Um, I saw a lot of single file, so um, not much double file. Kind of looked like a train going around for a little bit, so that probably got a little bit boring for a while. But things did get exciting and heat up towards the end, so that's what these races are all about. Anyway, next race is going to be at Talladega. We'll see how we do there. Uh, we did get a win at Daytona. And that was the last restrictor plate race that we've run, so hopefully we do well there. Um, I'm assuming a good performance there, but anything can happen at Talladega, especially as we all know the big one can happen, usually caused by the player, i.e. me. So, <laughs> yeah, if you'll enjoy these races, I do them every Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you at Talladega.